my name is Jason and this is Just Watches. All right, today we have a pair of watches from Conquer Watch Co. that were lent into the channel for review. So big thanks to Conquer for letting me check these out. Now, there are two options here, which is something I'd love to see from more micro brands. We have an automatic that uses a Miyota 9015, and then we also have a quartz option that uses a Swiss Ronda quartz movement. So they both have a similar case, but there are some differences in the hands and dial. I'll start my review with the automatic, and then I'll cover the differences in the quartz model. However, before we begin, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. So price and availability. Well, these watches will be available on Kickstarter on January 10th of 2022. The Kickstarter prices will be $199 for the quartz model and $389 for the automatic Miyota. Also, the first 100 orders will get a French Epson leather strap valued at $65. So starting with the case, it's 41 millimeters in diameter, 47 millimeters lug to lug, and then this one is 12 and a half millimeters thick, but this is a prototype. The final production model will be about 11 millimeters thick. And then it does have a 20 millimeter lug width. So the finishing is brushed on the top and sides, but you'll notice the watch is dominated by this two-part bezel, which I absolutely love on this watch. It's a combination of a very unique fluted gear style edge. Now, normally a fluted bezel is too flashy for me, but the way this one is executed is not overly loud. It's muted, but then enhanced by the inner part of the bezel that is high polish. This is a really visually interesting combination and is one of many very interesting details you're going to notice about this watch. Also, the lugs do curve down nicely, which helps with the wear. So the bracelet starts at 20 millimeters and tapers down to 18 millimeters before going back to 20 millimeters at the clasp. The solid end link has excellent integration with the case and the bracelet fully articulates against the back of the watch. The articulation between the links is also decent. The three link style is brushed on the outer links and high polish in the center. Now normally I'm not a fan of a high polished center link. However, in this case, it feels cohesive with the overall design of the watch. Now this is not the clasp that will come on the final watch, but this is a great clasp at this price point. It has a fully milled scissor, six micro positions, and a double push to point with a safety catch. So the screw in case back will help provide 100 meters of water resistance. I love that the fluting on the bezel is also present here on the case back. It's just another fun little detail of this watch. There's information around the edge. And as you can see, this is a prototype. It is number two. We also have an exhibition case back, which I'm always a fan of. On the final production version, the rotor of the movement will be decorated. So the automatic version is powered by the Miyota 9015. This is a movement I do prefer to the Seiko NH35 that you usually see in micro brand watches. This is a 28,800 vibration per hour hacking hand winding movement with the 42 hour power reserve the stated accuracy is minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day and this watch also features a quick set date so the six millimeter screw down crown is nicely signed with the conquer logo and the threading and unthreading action is very smooth now i would say that i would like to see a larger crown here however i have been informed that the final production model will utilize a 6.7 millimeter crown so i think that'll be a better size to match this watch so the domed sapphire crystal rises above the bezel of this watch and causes some great distortions when the dial is viewed from an angle i love the use of a domed sapphire crystal here it's another fun detail about this watch on the production model it will have ar coding Starting at the chapter ring, we have dashes for the minutes and five minute designations at each of the hours. The chapter ring nicely matches the beautiful cobalt blue of the dial, which has a sunburst effect. The indices are applied and catch light nicely on their faceted edges. There are three concentric circles carved into the dial, which is another interesting and unique detail about this watch. You then have the Conquer Watch Company logo for the 12 o'clock hour position, and then Conquer written at 12 o'clock and automatic 100 meters written at 6 o'clock. Finally, Japan movement is tucked away at the bottom of the chapter ring. The dial feels very cohesive with the design of the rest of this watch and I think it is well executed. The broad sword style hands are faceted and will catch light on one side or the other. They're also loomed which helps with legibility even in daylight conditions. I find with dressier style watches when the hands are not loomed they can be very hard to read in bright lighting conditions. However the loom here helps this watch feel more sporty and also improves the legibility. Now, this is a prototype, so it's not fully loomed, but I have been informed the production model will have heavy loom application. So the quartz model has a number of differences. It's gonna be thinner, and then the solid case back has a very cool high polished conquer line against a satin background. The dial is also way more minimalistic. There is still a chapter ring, but it lacks the dashes for the minutes. 
The concentric circles are also absent on this dial. The handset is also different, still faceted, which I like, but the minute hand is a little bit short for my liking and doesn't reach to the edge of the chapter ring. There's also a slight difference in the indices. Overall, I prefer the design of the automatic, but that just comes down to preference. And here is the watch on my six and three quarters inch wrist. Now this watch is larger than I would usually wear in a sporty dress piece, but it wears smaller than its dimensions state because of the two part bezel. And I actually found myself enjoying it at this size. Also, I think the size will work on large and small wrists alike. And popping on the time grapher, you can see it's keeping great time running about two to three seconds a day in the dial up position. And then because I know some of you request multiple positions on the time grapher, here it is crown down keeping zero seconds a day. So pros and cons starting with the pros. Well, this is a very unique watch and I love the design. A sports dress watch with a screw down crown and 100 meters of water resistance is going to be great for a variety of situations. I'm also happy to see a sapphire crystal, Miyota 9015, and a nice bracelet at this price point for the automatic. I also love the shade of blue on the dial and the use of those concentric circles. As for cons, they're mostly going to come down to taste. I feel the quartz design is way too minimalistic for me. And then for both these watches, my personal preference for, would be for them to be about 39 millimeters in diameter rather than 41. So are these watches worth the money? Well, I think at the Kickstarter prices, these are both good deals. These are interesting and unique watches with nice set of specifications. So keep a lookout for the Kickstarter campaign in January of 2022. So there you guys have it, the Conquer Watch Co. Vici. Let me know what you guys think about this watch in the comments below. As always, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all for this time. My name is Jason and you have been watching Just Watches.